Krispy Kremes, man. I haven't had one of those in about a year. Oh boy, yeah, that, that's like uh, that's like crack there. <laughs> Gotta stay away from that stuff. Oh yeah, that's the truth, man. That was a truck driver out there up in Chicago. I think that's where he said he was at. He was talking about them Krispy Kremes and talking about how he wanted a whole box of them or something. I said, man, he keep eating them cotton pickers, boy. Listen here, he gonna make him, he gonna make himself a quick exit up out of here, especially if he can't get no. When uh, when we got our first Krispy Kreme in the island of Hawaii, it was uh, on Maui. And every time we'd go work there, uh, we'd take the ferry over there. Our first trip was Krispy Kremes. My worker and I got a got a dozen each, and we'd have them eaten before we got to the first job site. But yeah, I can't do that anymore. Oh yeah, yes sir, I get it, man. I get it wholeheartedly. Them kind of are good, man. I ain't had none in about two years, but we used to get them straight from the from out the grease, man. You know when they just bring them in nice and fresh, and they just melt in your mouth when you're eating them with a cup of coffee. There, ten folk. Oh, absolutely. No, we would stand there at the at the shop, but we'd get the ones right off the conveyor belt. That's the dozen we would take, no matter what they were. Uh, but yeah, the fresh ones. Oh man, you can't beat them right off the conveyor belt uh, from the store. Delicious. Oh, I brought them to the job site. They don't last long, but yeah, they'll run around for a couple hours and at last they're like, uh. <laughs> That's the truth, man. That is the whole truth. Hey, by the way, man, I, uh, I put my antenna up in the air yesterday, man. How you, uh, how, how you, uh, digging, uh, how you, let me, let me put this thing over there towards you. I think I'm looking over there towards Colorado now. But, uh, how you digging this thing over there? Yeah, when you started looking over here, you went from uh, 8 to 9 to 9 to 15. So looking over here looks good. Uh, you got some audio, too, coming through that thunder amp. Yeah, I'm keying about 800,000 watts, somewhere around there. And it's, uh, it's swinging forward about 6,500, almost 7,000 forward to full 10. Oh, yeah, here, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I did key it about... Where's the needle? Oh, shit. Uh, there you go. That's about 30. 30 to about 500. 30 to 500. And that's 10 swinging 30. That's a 10-pound 10, 10 dead key. And it's swinging 30 pounds. A lot of good forward swing and crystal clear audio. All right, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a four pill on the hill. Uh, we had a bunch of uh, rain and uh, late night uh, fog, and we got the fog finally clearing this morning, but boy, our ground is saturated, so my ground rods are be loving it. <laughs> They're like, yes, I can connect to Mother Earth. Hey, oh, I got you there. Hey, can you do me a favor then? Since, uh, since I, I just uh, I put this thing up, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, check it out for me? I want to turn away from you. I want to see if the fall off is good or not. I don't have any locals around here where I can test my antenna, but if I got pretty good conditions, which I like to turn away from you, go up north and then uh, and check the back door on you there, go ahead. Yeah, I got a gate running already. It's about four minutes and 53 seconds, so I'll just keep it running. Uh, do what you got to do. Uh, uh, good news. I'll be listening. 
to uh seven to eight seven to eight from a nine to fifteen now you're seven to eight so that's a pretty good rejection Looking out east, uh, boy, when you were right on top of the, the state of Colorado, you were back to 9 to 15, and now you rolled it back down to 7 to 8. So uh, you'll see that on the gate uh, real good. Uh, and you kept talking the whole way, so you could see your needle go up and down uh, as you swung around. 10-4. Good news. I got some other stations uh, creeping in there, too. Uh, you hear that, too. But I still hear you. Uh, sounded good. Uh, boy, I love a beam. I'm just on the ground plane right now. Uh, we'll get our rotor fixed one day. Uh, we'll be able to spin our beam around at will instead of me going outside. But that's a good uh, that's a good test of your, uh, your antenna rejection. You'll see it. All right. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. 73 is to you. You and the family have a wonderful good news i'll shut this off uh i'm gonna go outside and uh, make sure the chickens are good and i got a little bit of uh honeydew list to do early this morning and that i'm free <laughs> i'll see you good news 808-107 thank you much my friend i'm out of here smoke up here detroit told you so Moon's still hanging around. There's my chickens. There you go, Walker. What you doing? You good girl. <laughs> 